Hello, everyone. Um, is the microphone on? Perfect. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for coming this morning. Um, welcome to the annual meeting of the New Champions 2017, where the overall theme of the meeting is on inclusive growth in the fourth industrial revolution. And this is actually a very relevant press conference, I think, uh, for, that, for that meeting theme, because we're going to be hearing from... Um, from artist Dan Rosgaarder. 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 Yeah, 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 Thank exactly. you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah. And and also Dr. Dr. Fan Ling, of uh, he's the finder of um, design tech and design uh, in China. On the latest on the smog uh, on the on the smog free project. Specifically smog free bicycle. Uh, yeah, yeah, Specifically exactly. smog free bicycle. Yeah, and it's interesting because when you talk about the fourth industrial revolution, so that means we had the first, the second, and the third. And of course, it gave us a lot of progress, but it also creates side effects. So right now, some of our cities are machines that are literally killing us. They're damaging us. They're making sure that we, we live five to six years shorter. And I think that was one of the real ambitions to say, when we talk about the future of cities, of smart cities, how can we make places which are good for people? So we're very happy to work with World Economic Forum um, and, and, and you all to actually place the largest smog vacuum cleaner in the world right outdoor here, the smog-free tower, which sucks up polluted air, cleans it, and releases the clean air. So we have parks which are 25 to 40 to 70 percent more clean than the rest of the city. So it's about the dream of clean air. And the next is the dream of clean water and clean energy, step by step improving life, improving reality. Um, what is great about a project when you do this kind of innovation, these designs, is that you learn. For example, here, I don't know if you've seen it. This is Beijing smog. This is in our lungs right now. Eh? So if you live in a high density city like Delhi or, or, or Beijing or maybe a bit London as well, it's the same, here you go, it's the same as 17 cigarettes per day that you inhale. That, 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 that is crazy for me. Um, we said waste should not exist. Eh? Waste for the one should be food for the other. Yeah. So we compress it for 30 minutes. And we're making smog-free rings out of it. And so by sharing a ring, you donate 1,000 cubic meters of clean air to the city where the tower is in. And it's sort of a, a proposal for the new world, so to speak. I'm not proposing. Yeah, in a way, I am proposing to you as well. But, uh, I'll, I'll agree. Yeah. <laughs> he says yes. Yeah. So that project is on the go. We have a China partner. This week, we're producing more of them in China, step by step. Um, but what is also interesting from this smog-free project, which is really about the dream of clean air, new ideas pop up. We do workshop with Tongji Tsinghua University. And one of the ideas that popped up is the idea of smog-free bicycles. And that's why I think we're here eh, to announce that. Oh, yeah, thank you. Are you giving it back or are you uh, sharing well, it? Well, yeah, I'm okay. sharing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> smog-free bicycles, where we're literally making bicycles which suck up polluted air, clean it, and releasing the clean air so we can cycle and not be polluted. And this was an idea that came from the workshop, which immediately caught my imagination. I'm Dutch, so I have this bicycle DNA inside of me. But also, Beijing was a cycling city 12 years ago, completely disappeared. So have fourth industrial revolution, how can we upgrade reality? And we're very happy, and that's the main reason why we're here today, um, to announce that together with OFO, eh, the bike sharing company uh, uh, in China at the moment, uh, very big, millions and millions of bicycles. We're working together with David, the founder and the CEO, to work together to make that smog-free bicycle happen. And we're announcing that today for the first time. And we're very happy to work with our China partner, who, who's, who's, who's local, who has the knowledge and the intelligence. So together we will create a team of designers, engineers, experts, uh, project managers, to make sure that these bicycles will be in the city well, as soon as possible, something like that. Yeah. Sure. Please. Um, very glad to be here. Uh, I've known Dan's work for a number of years. Very talented artist and designer, uh, maker. Maker. Uh, and yeah. thinker. And we're both young global shaper and global uh, leader. I, I'm just oh. global, young global leader. You probably uh, no, young I'm also enough. No, I'm young global leader. leader. Okay. okay. So we're both young. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. this time it's really a... Uh, Actually, through the Davos uh, platform, we start to sort of reconnect in the uh, Shapers event uh, a day before the official Davos happened. And then in a panel, that three of us sitting together, one Shaper, who's David from OFO, the founder of OFO, and uh, me, YGL, and, and Dan, 
together, and we sit in a panel called the Fourth Industrial Revolution. And uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur myself. Uh, my, 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 my company is called Design, and we are really uh, the largest uh, platform, mm -hmm. uh, data platform of designers, creative talents in China. Mm -hmm. uh, we are venture backed by Sequoia Capital and working with a number of emerging uh, technology companies, including OFO, as well as traditional business, including Unilever, Coca Cola and uh, of course Alibaba, et cetera, et cetera. So we are always the connector, we are the platform. We are always connecting the business, so the social organizations, with the best design and creative resources. Mm -hmm. So at that panel, I actually, I was the moderator, and I asked a question to both David and, and, and Don. So if one artist is trying to influence 10 million people, and then a company is trying to have 1 million users, or 10 million users, let's say. Then how does two kind of mentality, two kind of skill set, and two kinds of way of working can actually collaborate mm -hmm. on a project that can be categorized of the fourth industrial revolution, which is socially aware, mm -hmm. which is a new type of uh, uh, public-private or social and business collaboration, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is impactful as well as economically sustainable. Mm -hmm. So therefore, Dan proposed this idea of smoke-free bicycle. And he said yes. And yeah. then he <laughs> said yes without <laughs> presenting the ring. Yeah. And uh, so it's really a great opportunity to see that an artist or a designer could have this kind of innovative, socially responsible idea. And design can be this kind of connector. Mm -hmm. And the OFO could be this kind of platform for massive usage. So you're not just accepting the information yeah. passively, you're actually producing the message through yeah. your own cons cons consumption act. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's a really inspiring yeah. collaboration. And I think that's a collaboration that made possible by the World Economic Forum and as well as the community of shapers and YGL. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And I think the next step is smoke-free bicycles. Eh? Millions of new bicycles will be launched by OFO and we're upgrading them to be clean air. The final goal is to have smoke-free towers, smoke-free bicycles, to really have an impact on the, on the, on the index of the city, eh? the, the pollution index. So we want to have a reduction between 5 and 30 percent of the pollution in a city within the coming year and a year and a half. Yes. So we're trying to influence the default. Um, and I think you will see a series of urban innovations, of urban designs in the coming years. Sure. So we have the towers, we have the bicycles, but more will follow. Uh, but right now, I think uh, we should get to work and, and, and make sure that these bicycles on the street as fast as possible. Sure, I think that's yeah. a very entrepreneurial yeah. spread that's real yeah. to share. So I'll show you an image, maybe. So this is the dream. Can you see it? The more you write, the more so you, smog you suck yeah. in. So you suck up the polluted air, you clean it, and you release the clean air. Or they, they should be yellow, eh? or they will be yellow, the bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> so on one hand, you get clean air as you cycle. On the other hand, you're, you're feeding clean air to the city. And we're really talking about millions of these bicycles, which will impact uh, cities like Beijing, Shenzhen. But what is also interesting, OFO is also focused on cities like Paris, eh, Europe. Yeah. Globalization so, uh, strategy. So we look forward to keep you posted and um, invite you for a ride uh, within uh, the coming months. Thank this you so is, much. This yeah. is excellent. Can, 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 we, can you just, uh, if you have a question, can you just wait for the microphone to come over? I think, okay, I think we, oh, oh, I see, okay. Please. Do we have, do we have some questions? Could we, could yeah, we see you have hands? some questions. Uh, yeah. I, th I think. Please, yeah. So actually, uh, could you wait for the microphone to come to you? Yeah, so the people in the... Uh, could you oh, say thank your you name much. and, and uh, well, who you from China Daily. Yeah, Good actually, morning. Morning, we met actually yes, yes, I know. yesterday and yeah. we were talking about if there were a possibility that I can join China hands. Daily. Yeah, 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 exactly. It was one of the, well, sure banking. <laughs> but we never expect it to be so so quick that you... Uh, well, China is quick, eh? Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 <laughs> that's that China true. is really quick. So, yeah. could you like to disclose more details about your cooperation? Because yesterday we were talking about that, and actually they're still in phase one. So, uh, yeah. so 
I'm just so, quite interested in the details of your cooperation. For yeah, instance, so the, so what kind it, of form and uh, your will uh, in terms of the money, knowledge, or things like that? Yeah. Well, it's a first date. Yeah? So you don't talk about the price of the wedding ring on the first date. That would be a bit weird, I think. So we're in phase one. We know we're going to do it. How, when, how many, how much? That will be announced soon. We're working on that. We know a lot about the technology with Smog Free Tower, eh? the positive ionization, how to clean the air, the PM2.5, PM10 particles, <coughs> how to do it in an energy friendly way. <coughs> but we will always work together with China Partner, uh, maybe in technology and design and project management, to really make something which is like a, a, a plug in, eh? a plug on, so to speak, yeah. onto the existing bicycle, which should be energy friendly, uh, vandalism proof, provide clean air. And we need to think of what we're going to do with the collected smog particles. Maybe if you cycle 100 kilometers, you get a ring. I don't know. So, so um, it is concrete that we're going to do it. We know more or less how to do it. And now it's a, a call to action to make it work. May I add something? Please. Yes, please. I, yeah, I think this, uh, you know, you see, like, I'm, I'm losing my voice. It's yeah, really you have intensive. Water. Yeah, you have some water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, thank you very please. much. I'm, I, it's really intensive three days. I, I do have water. Thank oh, you so okay. much. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's very intensive three days, and, 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 and this uh, collaboration really uh, uh, went through, uh, through WeChat uh, discussion. And uh, I sent a text to uh, David saying, yeah. uh, in Chinese words, gao bu gao. Okay. Uh, do it or not? Yeah, uh, yes or no? Sent, <laughs> yeah, he sent, sent it back, gao gao. Yeah. yeah, do and do. Double do, double so, do. So, yeah. so, so we don't know how to do it. Which is, which is in China, I think, a lifetime we commitment. We just know yeah. that within these three, three days, I was just asked by Professor Schwab in a meeting with mm -hmm. YGL, you didn't, you, you didn't show up. I guess you're working on these images. Absolutely. And, 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 and he actually asked us, uh, do you know someone from the whole event? I said, yes. Do you uh, feel it's meaningful? I said, yes. Do you find a life-changing moment in the event? I said, uh, uh, I still have half a day. And I guess this is a life-changing moment, uh, not just for me, but also for a better, uh, yeah. larger society. And, 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 and Gao is very important. That do it is very important. And uh, I guess how to do it, what's the roadmap, probably wait until next uh, press conference to present. Yeah. So I think more well, we important would. is that I mean, we, we have the we, mindset. We, we, we build small free towers. I'm sure we can do bicycles. Huh? Well, yeah. I, I, I assume we could. Uh, yeah. And I think an important point is, okay. uh, yeah, I mean, uh, one, yeah, one year ago, you made, it, you made an another, uh, another announcement. And that has, the, the speed at which that has, has happened is, 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 is very quickly. It's very yeah. quick now. Can yeah. you say something? Yeah, about? and I think that's the power of ideas. And that's the power of China. And that's the power of collaboration. So, in my opinion, there's not a lack of technology or a lack of money. There's sometimes a lack of imagination and of doing things. And I think that's great, a World Economic Forum and a collaboration, that you put people in a room, you put a dream, you're a hippie with a business plan, you make a prototype, you learn from it, and you upscale. And um, that is really great of this project. Uh, we know how to do it, and now uh, we get to work. Yeah. Next question, please. <coughs> yeah, please. Hello, dear. I have two questions. The first one is, could you tell us about the air conditions you had known through the smoke tower that collected information? Sorry? I mean, the air condition in Dalian. Yeah. Uh, I know you have shown us that small bag. Ah, so yeah. you have collected, you have known some air condition information uh, through this, this, uh, these days. Yeah. And second question, do you, uh, I mean, the collaboration, will you consider the policy support for your collab collab collaboration? Sorry, sorry. I mean, I, a policy, I, I, policy support. Is ah, like a new policy, you mean? Yeah. For parks or he, for uh, the bicycle? For, for, the, for, for the project, the smog yeah. tower. So, thank you for your question. So, in the end of the day, I think around four or five o'clock, we will open the tower. If you like, you can come there. And we will, you can, you can, you can see a bit how much smog it already collected. We don't know. We're going to check in the late today. I mean, what we see is a reduction of... Uh, or an improvement, I should say, of air quality uh, between 25 and 60 percent. And the wind was coming from one side, so the bubble uh, of clean air is in one part a little bit bigger than the other part. But it works, and it works in a similar way as we've done in Beijing and Tianjin um, and in Rotterdam. Um, yes, I think we should have cities which have clean air. Yes, I think we should have parks where children can play outside again. Yes, I think we should have cities 
where there are no traffic jams, but people are willing to cycle and enjoy clean air. It is about making proposals, how we want to work, how we want to improve life. And this is about dreams, ideas. It's about technology, making it happen. And uh, again, it's been great to, to work with you, OFO and World Economic Forum, to start, in a way, chapter two of Smog Free Project, which is the Smog Free Bicycle. Yeah. Can you wait for the mic microphone? Sorry. Air conditions in the city, as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, and if you like, we can send you the, the statistics, the, 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 the factual information. What is interesting is what we see is smog in every city, it's a little bit different. It tastes different, it looks different, and it smells di It's really disgusting, but it smells different. <laughs> uh, it's like water or uh, like sand. Every, it says something about the culture. It's everywhere different. Um, I think the real goal of the conversation we're having is to have cities where in 10, 15 years, these kind of projects are not necessary anymore, yes? And this will take government to invest in clean energy, electrical cars, new technologies, yes? Top down. But we are not gonna wait for government. With all the respect for government, we wanna tickle, we wanna activate. So we do bottom up, yes? We, we say, oh, proposals, what if we would this, what if we would that? And we meet in the middle, and that creates impact today. Not tomorrow uh, or in 10, 15 years, but today. And that is the type of conversation, and that's why I, I am at World Economic Forum, because these people meet, they work together, and they make proposals. And uh, yeah, it's really great to be a part of that. Will one tower solve the whole problem for a city? No. Will a thousand or a million smog-free bicycles clear all pollution? No. Step by step, innovation, we improve life, and we only stop when it's not necessary anymore. Next question, please. Maybe other? Yeah? It's a gentleman at the back there. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, the uh, smog-free bicycle... Can you say who you are in the organization SCMP. you work for, please? Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm wondering if the smog-free bicycle is like the smog-free tower. It's more of a, a public awareness uh, mm -hmm. project, more like a, a promotion project, not mm -hmm. uh, into massive uh, commercialization. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That thank you, thank yeah. you for your question. You know, it's the same like... Three times per day, you, you, brew, you, 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 you clean your teeth, eh? you brush your teeth. <laughs> I hope you do that, because you don't solve the problem of toothache, you just try to do what you can to prevent it, yes? So I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a politician, I'm not a mayor. I cannot write a law. Eh? I think this is not in our expertise. What we can do is design, engineer. So this project is not just communication, because that would be too simple. For me, the smog-free tower is a local solution. We have the scientific data from Technical University Eindhoven, which is currently peer-reviewed, which proves that it cleans parks between 25, 40, 70 percent, depending on humidity, wind, amount of pollution, etc. That's a fact. It's a local solution. At the same time, and that's the second goal, we should activate people. You know, we should engage. We should work together to improve. <coughs> And that's why these workshops and Smog Free Bicycle are important. What David, the, the founder, said when he was talking to the petrol uh, guys, the, the, the oil guys, is that they always had a stable income. But since a year or so, 5% loss of income. And he said that it's because the bike sharing programs. So they see old energy changing in new energy. Yes. So just imagine that you start Continuing that line, you improve it by actually adding clean air. You will have an impact on city scale, on air quality. And that's the way to go. And maybe, so sorry if I speak no, too long, please, but please. smog is everywhere. Sometimes when I meet Chinese, they're a bit ashamed of pollution. Like they, they feel they're losing face, eh? like Beijing, smog capital, which is not true. Eh? Five weeks ago, London was more polluted than Beijing. So it's a global problem. I think China is and should see this as a challenge, as an opportunity. And this may sound weird, but it's not. When, not if, but when China, together with these collaborations, improves the quality of life, it becomes a platform for innovation. And the, the city of Paris and the city of London and the city of Delhi will come to you, will come here to learn. So don't see it as something as a shame, something you have to hide from, but see it as as a way, let's deal with it, let's, let's fix it, let's morph it, let's mutate it, let's make it, 
and it will be an inspiration for the rest of the world. Yes, and I, 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 that's why I'm doing. That's why I'm doing these things. Yeah, maybe you can, you can comment on that as well. Like, like, what, what's the purpose? Why are you doing these things? You say, I know you said some beautiful things about that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm putting you on the spot now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a Chinese saying that the uh, you should do it uh, uh, for good, uh, even though it's small. I yeah. think that uh, uh, that's why I mean one artist's work uh, can be rooted into this huge already exist infrastructure mm -hmm. built by the uh, by the entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Actually, can emulate one small impact into a million, even ten million bicycles. That's small for each one individual, but collectively, that's a large. It's a big. Uh, yeah, that's a big impact. And I think that a lot of influence, uh, whether consciously, consciously here means that, that the bicycle like, suck in the dirty air and, 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 and purify it. And the uh, unintended consequence, which is the awareness that it brings yeah. to. So I think this is always a beauty of collaboration. So it's not just uh, engineer work. No. It's also an art work. Yeah. It's also a business work. It's yeah. also a social work. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of multi-stakeholder, yeah. let's yeah. say. Hybrid. Colla collaboration. Yeah. And there, it maybe starts with small, but it really go viral. Yeah. yeah. The power of an idea. Yeah. Please. Other questions? Oh, they're very silent. Oh. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I, mean, I, have a, I have another question. Yeah. Um, what's your, I know, I know it's, it's very, it's, it's early stages, um, but what's your, um, what's your vision, both of you, with, with, with where this could go in the next sort of year, two years? Yeah, we've talked about the scale, the rapidity, maybe even five years. Yeah, I think uh, saying something, what happens in five years in China is, uh, wow, you really have to be you genius really to, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a, I'm, I think if you look at the coming 12, 10 to 12 months, uh, build a prototype, present it to community, prove that it works, make it easy to plug in, uh, um, um, uh, make it scalable. But yeah, I, I don't want to make a hundred bicycles. Yeah, I mean, it should be minimal, a lot. Um, so that, that 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 that's my goal. Yeah. So I think I think we should get to work. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do today. Doctor Fan. Um, I um, I think that this uh, project. Uh, uh, has the potential to start with a very uh, tangible sort of uh, product outcome, and then that really can attach to the bicycle that already have. That's what I see yeah. from the potential okay. here. Plug so in. therefore, it will have some immediate result that to prove this will work, whether it's uh, in terms of the direct sort of uh, result and as well as its influence. And gradually, I would rather see, you know, uh, Whatever sort of the mo you know OFO or or you know all the um, the this kind of sharing economy all has the potential yeah. to retain the future of mobility. Absolutely, the mobility of Absolutely. human, the mobility of goods, yeah. and wherever it moves, actually generates a yeah. certain kind of potential yeah. attachment yeah. of this thing into into that yeah, mobility. So so on one hand you're consuming more, on the other hand you're producing more. Yeah. So this way would be win, win. What, what we could say is a, another way to understand a positively yeah. creation of circular economy. And, it, and it's so good what you mentioned because it's about the change of perception. Um, so our prime minister, Mark Rutte, he sometimes cycles to the House of Parliament in The Hague. And um, we're Dutch, so we do that. But when my old Chinese friends see that, they ask, is he poor? <laughs> Can he not own a car? And we're like, well, he's the prime minister. I'm sure he's, he's fine. And he's, he's also a very smart guy. So, so, so it's a change of lifestyle. We cycle because we think it's good for health, good for our body, good for environment. And it's been fascinating to see that China has um, re-adopted re -adopted this kind of thinking in the last two, two and a half years. It went really fast. So how can we make designs which bring back the bicycle, right? which, which celebrate the bicycle, which bring it back as a lifestyle? That's part of being cool. Being, 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 you know, good for yourself and good for the world. That is, I think, the true goal of this project. Yeah, yeah. I think that's almost all. All the time we have, we have left. If there's another question, please, please raise your hand. But um, and and um, 
one other point, the, I think you might have mentioned earlier, but maybe it's worth, worth repeating yeah. that um, people can come and see the smog free oh, yeah. tower. Uh, sorry, That's correct. Course. So the smog free tower is located uh, right over there. So if you go main, or if you go uh, journalist entrance and you go right, you see it there on the public square. Um, the local Dalian people already are calling it lovingly the clean air temple. Uh, which I think is a compliment, I, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, so you can go there, enjoy clean air for free. Um, and at the same time, let's meet and together and, and, and share new ideas, start making things, and uh, looking forward to continue uh, the conversation with you all. Is, is there a time people should, should, oh, should no, come no, out? Oh, no, it's always there. It's always is, on. Okay. And um, uh, I think we'll open uh, in the end of today. We, we open it and have a peek inside what we have collected and how Dalian smog looks like. That's going to be fascinating. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank much. you. <clears throat>